Welcome to Florida, where every three days a dog dies. Not this dog or this dog, but these dogs, greyhounds. Not these dogs either. Tall and slender, graceful and gentle. Greyhounds are definitely awesome dogs and nobody cares for them more than the people in the greyhound racing industry. These people will say anything to get you to donate money. Every three days, a greyhound like this one dies on a racetrack in Florida. A greyhound absolutely does not die every three days on a racetrack. Death comes from cardiac arrest, broken necks, broken legs, and... You see what these guys do? Uh, they highlight the dog, vignette out uh, everything else, uh, make it, makes it look all eerie. It, it does show a dog, like, wiping out. They don't show you the rest of the footage because the dog gets up and continues to chase the rabbit. Other injuries. Nearly 500 Greyhound dogs have died in Florida since 2013, when they're not racing. Yeah, since 2013, there's probably been 20,000 uh, Greyhounds in Florida racing over that period, probably more than that. 500 dogs, you know, possibly, but uh, what the state, the, the state doesn't differentiate between, let's say, uh, a dog that, you know, has an unfortunate incident on the track or a, a dog that uh, passes away from cancer. Uh, what these people aren't telling you is, is, uh, you know, most of these uh, greyhounds that have passed have gone, uh, you know, through cancer or, um, you know, a, a heart disease and stuff like that or some type of a, a, a birth defect. Anytime you're doing some kind of an active sport, there's an inherent risk. Uh, let me put this in perspective for you. For every greyhound that's hurt on the track, there's 65,000 kids under the age of 16 that go to the hospital with uh, serious injuries uh, playing high school sports, like broken limbs or uh, concussions and stuff like that. How come we're not all up in arms about banning soccer and football and all that kind of junk? Hey, here's another little interesting bit of uh, information for you. All the Greyhound people tried implementing the Greyhound Safety Act. Uh, there's a, um, there are some things that could make the track a little bit safer. They couldn't get it passed uh, because the uh, activists fought it. Grey 2K, Humane Society, they fought it. They want dogs to get hurt because anytime a dog gets hurt, it's, it equates to millions of dollars in donations. Think about that. These animals are confined in small stacked metal cages like these in Longwood, Florida for 20 to 23 hours a day. Stacked in these crates for 23 hours a day, completely untrue. The average racing uh, career for a Greyhound is about two years. Uh, a lot of them are much less than that. And it's the best two years of their lives. Take a retired Greyhound to a racetrack and see how that dog reacts when uh, he sees that lure going around the track. Good luck holding on to your dog. Hey, where did they get that footage of the Greyhounds uh, in that last clip there? They stole it from me. And a pen like this is where they're let out to stretch their legs. I keep one thing in mind. When you're watching uh, like a uh, anti-Greyhound racing ad on uh, Instagram or Facebook or something, every single thing these people utter out of their mouths is a lie. If anybody's been paying attention to my uh, greyhound videos. I'm out there showing everybody that greyhounds aren't abused. Uh, these propaganda spewing scam artists swipe my video clips and uh, they're using it to sway voters to vote against greyhound racing. They're twisting it. They're taking it out of context like they always do. This is just one more example of how these people operate, man. Open your eyes, guys. Open your eyes. Florida State Government Investigative Report stated that confining these animals in cages was cruel, inhumane, and abusive. Yeah, over the half the footage they used in this commercial they stole from me. They've been served a cease and desist. Uh, they're still running these ads. And uh, I guess we're gonna, they, they believe they're above the law. Apparently they've been getting away with murder so long they think they can do anything they want. They better uh, pull those ads and not uh, touch another piece of my footage. Uh, or we're gonna sue them. Everything about uh, the Humane Society, uh, by the way, uh, Protect Dogs is run by Great 2K and the Humane Society. Everything about these people, everything about this group is deceptive in every way possible. And a recent poll revealed that 70% of Florida voters support ending greyhound racing and would vote to phase it out. 
I'd like to take a look at the so-called report that they're talking about and uh, the people that they're uh, polling are probably people on their own um, you know Facebook page again you're looking at footage that was stolen from me this isn't footage that they took that's for sure they have to steal my footage slow it down and try to make it look evil if you watch the video that I made watch it in its entirety You'll see that I've, without a shadow of a doubt, proven uh, that these dogs are living like kings. They take uh, a very small clip, uh, distort it, and then uh, feed it to you uh, as a lie. Wake up, people. Amendment 13 will appear on the November ballot and will give Florida voters the opportunity to end this shameful, cruel, and inhumane practice investigating greyhound racing and how these dogs are treated for seven months there's absolutely nothing shameful about what these people do there's no cruelty going on whatsoever the only shameful activity going on is what these people are doing to you guys lying to you using animals uh, to tug at your heartstrings so that they can make money for themselves remember the people running this ad, the Humane Society, on average generates $100 million a year, donates less than half a percent to any animal shelters. They give politicians 15% of it. 50% of it goes back into uh, more fundraisers. Biggest scam ever. You could throw PETA in on this. You could throw Great 2K in on this. ASPCA, Humane Society, they're all the same. For more information, Please go to protect dogs. Again, deception and lies, propaganda, they know how to use it effectively in order to generate the most donation of money possible. Now, these people would be in prison for operating most likely the biggest scam perpetrated on the American public if it weren't for the politicians that they lobby. It's the crookedest thing I've ever witnessed in my life. The people that are running this ad, they don't care about dogs. They care about money. They use lies and propaganda to separate you from your money. They get you to donate. You don't feel sorry for a Greyhound. They got it made. I've proven this over and over again in my videos. The same videos that they steal from me and uh, darken and slow down and uh, play creepy music, uh, whatever they do, and then they try to use it against us. Uh, they use my videos because they've never even seen the inside of a racing kennel. These people are giving you information completely out of context. If they were forced to tell you the truth, uh, they wouldn't be able to generate a single nickel in donation money. Uh, can you imagine a world where there was no PETA, no Humane Society of the United States, no Great 2K, no ASPCA, on average about Four hundred million dollars a year gets siphoned into this uh, these scam groups. Uh, people donate their money thinking that it's going to help animals. You see the sad faces on the commercials, and it, you know, hey, tw give twenty bucks a month, that kind of a thing. What would happen if these groups didn't exist and people uh, donated directly to their local animal shelter? So many more animals could be helped, rehomed. Uh, you could end. You could end an enormous amount of pain and suffering if money went directly to animal shelters and you bypass these scam groups. What they're doing is disgusting, it's despicable, it's criminal. They should be in prison. I'm back at the kennels at the San Fernando Kennel Club. Ground zero, we're the ones protecting the dogs. Let there be no doubt about that. I'm here to uh, test out the old megaphone. I'm gonna go show it to AJ.